Will Nesb2 have more DLC? Here's why I think the answer might be yes. Fairplay Labs, the developer of Nesb2, have been tweeting pretty consistently since Nesb2 was revealed. Most of these things have just been pretty standard, chill tweets that have had nothing more to do than memes, announcements, and info related to Nesb2. Some of their more recent tweets keep repeating one phrase. The first wave. Here are some examples of what I'm talking about. The first one, gamer math be like, Nickelodeon Spongebob. More news on the first wave of DLC characters for Nesb2 featuring Mr. Krabs, Zuko, Rock City, and Iroh. Coming soon. These posts pretty much were tweeted between January 18th and January 30th of 2024. And there's four different examples that we'd be going through, each displaying this same type of word usage. Second one, have you guys found the difficulties in Nesb2 challenging enough? Nickelodeon Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender. More news on the first wave of DLC characters coming for Nesb2, featuring Mr. Krabs, Zuko, Rock City, and Iroh coming soon with their own meme. Now this is twice now where they've used this phrasing of the first wave. It's happened to everyone at least once. Nasp2, Nickelodeon, TMNT. More news on the first wave of DLC characters for Nasp2 featuring Mr. Krabs, Zuko, Rock City, and Iroh. And finally, power is overrated. You are wise to choose happiness and love. More news on the first wave of DLC characters for Nesb2 featuring Mr. Krabs, Zuko, Roxity, and Iroh coming soon. So what does this all mean? There have been other games similar to this, uh, like Mario Kart 8 that had waves of DLC, or Smash Ultimate that had waves of DLC where they had a first wave of DLC of four characters, five characters, and then shortly after those were finally finished and released, they announced the second wave of characters and revealed who those were. Now, they're saying this type of phrasing of the first wave even before the first character, Mr. Krabs, has even been released. Despite this character being announced to release in February, there hasn't been any additional info other than the characters from the first pass even being given release windows, besides the fact that all of them would be released by the end of 2024. So what characters could be in this second wave, who they are, and how many additional waves there would be is definitely still a mystery, but one thing is for sure. There are definitely plans for additional character waves planned as DLC releases in 2025 and beyond. So this is pretty interesting, I would say. And while there isn't a lot of info yet on this, and pretty much all of this is speculation, besides the fact that Fair Play more than three times has used the same phrase of first wave, that isn't something you do on coincidence four times in a row, right? That's something that you're starting to tease uh, just to let people in on a little secret, you know, a little snack of secret info, you know, while we're waiting for Krabs' release. I think it's pretty awesome, but uh, we're going to be starting off with some newer stuff in the future, and I hope you appreciate this uh, video. If you'd like to see the follow-up stuff to things like Mr. Krabs and the second wave of DLC coming next year, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you give this video a like if you did enjoy watching it. But as for my future plans, uh, I'll be starting again soon in the coming weeks after Genesis uh, X. I'll be starting up my NASB1 online tournament series for the NASB1 PR again. And then the reveal of the NASB2 PR starts this week. And the first drop happened yesterday, or today, depending on um, if you're watching this somehow before it's released, which the release date is tomorrow, the 8th of February. And it will be finished up by this Sunday during the Slime Monthly. So make sure that you tune in for the top 10, which is revealed then, with the top 40 through 50 being revealed uh, yesterday or today, depending on how you look at it. And each day, a couple more of the 10 are revealed. So make sure you look at that as well. I'll be doing a video about that and the results of Genesis X once they've both concluded. So make sure that you're keeping up to date with that. And if not, you'll catch the info that you're looking for here on my channel. So thanks for watching, and I appreciate you being here. See you in the next one.